want to f- forget what this feels like. Um, I just got off of a, my heart, it's so funny. My heart is like beating out of my chest. I just got off of a virtual retreat that I hosted today and it was awesome. And it was a room full of women who were coming to get a transformation. And a year and a half ago, that was something I wrote down on a 10 dreams list. One day I hope that I host a retreat. And I wrote that and I thought about it and I prayed about it. and um, But it was something that was far off in the future for me and was like a one day thing and a someday thing. Um, January of 2020, I walked away from my network marketing career. And for me, that was like a death. Um, When I walked away from that, a lot of people in my former company decided that if I was not for their company, I wasn't relevant to them anymore. And I lost thousands of friends in friends in minutes. And they confirmed my greatest fear that they didn't really want all of me. And that was hard. And I remember just praying and journaling that I wanted to create a space that I wanted to be a part of, that I wanted to be in a room where women had agreed that they wanted all of me, that by being all of me, I could inspire and give other women permission to be themselves, that I wanted to create a business where I wasn't actually asking anyone to be anything. It's hard when you shed your old life. Um, It requires courage. It requires bravery. And tonight was just a full circle moment where I looked at every single woman on the screen and they were thanking me for creating the space and they were thanking me for my example and they were thanking me for how I lead. And I thought I was praying for this for a really long time because I had found myself in spaces where I felt like I had to bend to fit. And and it was a death for me to take a risk on myself. I had no proof on paper paper that I was gonna be a great leader, that I was gonna have a thriving business. And people even told me that I was crazy. They were like, how could you walk away from your entire income, your entire business, your entire friend group, your entire adult history, Right? But I knew it would be the biggest shame of my life if I got to the end of my life and had not lived out my potential because I wanted to make other people feel comfortable. So that they felt really comfortable about who I was. Your new life is always going to cost you your old one. I had to trade, I had to accept being disliked, being misunderstood being judged, being rejected so that I could create a space where I was understood. I was loved. I am full and complete. I am lacking in nothing. And I wouldn't trade this moment for the thousands of followers that I lost. I wouldn't trade this moment for the people who I haven't spoken to in years. So I wanted to share this because today was a really good day. I'm really happy about it.